And today we're going to be checking out the V100 2.5K dash cam. What we're going to do is first we're going to see what all you get with the camera and then we're going to put it in the car and I'm going to get you some sample footage of what you can expect to get out of this camera. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, so the first thing you're going to see, of course, is the little camera right here. On the side is where you hook up power and you also have your SD card. Here's the actual camera itself. You have the windshield mount that's slanted, so when you stick it up, it will be level facing out. And then you have your snapshot button if you need to take a quick photo. And you also have a power button here as well. And then you have a speaker slash microphone on the side and in the back. This does record audio in the cabin, but that is a feature that you can turn off as well. And this is also app controlled as well. So you can actually have the app running and control the camera, set the camera up, change all the features and functions, and even download your footage without even having to touch the camera itself. So very cool feature. And the camera is adjustable. So wherever you mount this, you can get it nice and level. Now you're also gonna get the USB-C power cord. As you can see, it is quite long. I would imagine somewhere around 10 feet. You're gonna have a manual. You're going to have these little screen protectors that you can use on your camera as well, just in case you need to put a protective cover over your lens. You're going to get extra sticky tape. You're going to have this little quick start guide. It's going to give you the actual link to the app. I get this question all the time about products, about what is the actual app called. And for this little camera right here, it's called V-E-E-C-A-R. V -E -E -C -A -R. And then the final thing that you get is a little trim tool. And that is because if you install this and you need to tuck this wire inside the trim work, you can use this little tool to just kind of pry it out and slip the wire under or even use it to push the wire under the molding. A quite simple setup, very easy to install. Let's go ahead and let's cut to some of the footage so you can see what to expect to get out of this camera. Okay, so as you can tell, the footage looks quite nice. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the app right here for you real quick. And we're actually going to power the camera up inside. I'm going to connect the app. You do have to connect to it via Wi-Fi. It will say V100. And now that we have the app pulling up, you can see it right here. You can actually see me. Very cool. And you have... You can pause recording, you can take a snapshot, you can view all your different camera files, and it's reading them straight from the camera. You also have the parking feature to where it will run a time lapse while you're parked. So if somebody comes around, it's like a sentry mode, it will protect your car. You can go into the camera settings, and you can turn audio off and on, your speaker volume, choose your resolution, it is default to 2.5K. You can have timestamps on and off. You can turn the G sensor on. Here's your time lapse settings and your Wi Fi connections as well. So, what you're going to get with this little dash cam is a very clear image. It records the audio so you can hear what's going on in the cabin as well. 2.5K is plenty good enough for a dash cam. There's no point in going any higher than that. It's a nice, simple setup. It's nice and compact. You can have this thing up and running in five minutes flat, and it's going to get the job done. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.